Thank you, Chris, and uh, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is James Hickman. I'm Chief Commercial Officer at Equals Group. Um, uh, today, I wanted to give you a brief overview of the history of Equals, um, and very brief, because I really want to spend the time uh, that I've got today to focus on what we've been developing um, and uh, a little bit about the, the future of Equals and, and some of the products that we've, as I say, been developing and now put into market. Um, I'm also going to touch on how we're going to reach our target audience um, uh, through through sales and marketing. So in, in terms of background, uh, we started off, you may well know us better as FairFX, um, very much a, a consumer focused travel brand. Uh, over the past three years, we've, we've pivoted um, and made a strategic decision to, to focus on businesses. Uh, and so today, um, 80% of our uh, transactional revenue is is through uh, is via business um, rather than consumer, uh, and that's group volume. Um, we've made a number of strategic acquisitions uh, along the way to to both bolster uh, uh, increase scale uh, and also enhance our capabilities. Uh, and a good example of that is uh, Card One Money. Uh, we're back in 2018 uh, that gave us the banking capability and, and I'll come on to why we've done these acquisitions and you'll see them fit in with our product set as we go along through this um, through this presentation. Um, so we've built a very strong financial services ecosystem with a, with a, with a huge emphasis on trust. Um, ultimately, any financial services business, you have to trust. Um, with our track record uh, over, you know, 14, 15 years, uh, we've we've added to uh, sort of a, a growing portfolio of products. And, and to do this, we needed to, to have some very, very strong relationships. Um, uh, as an example, uh, we integrated directly with uh, the Bank of England Fast Payment Scheme. Uh, this gives us the benefit of uh, immediate settlement with the Bank of England. So effectively instant payments bank to bank uh, as well as very reduced cost so very very low cost um, and and to give you a flavor of that you know typically typically a, a bank would charge a pound or something for a domestic payment where the reality is you know we can make that payment for, for less than five pence so it's huge huge saving um, uh, our relationship with Citigroup um, gives us a global footprint for, for uh, settlement. It allows us to better serve our customers, particularly on the currency side. So it gives us a, a, a wider variety of currencies to offer our customers and also gives us the benefit of local settlement. So customers uh, receive uh, and can send money much faster. And, and on the card side, our, our direct membership, um, oh, sorry, our direct membership of MasterCard, uh, together with our uh, e-money license allows us to issue our own cards and therefore control the 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 card economic model far better um so so we've got you know the the, the bones of something fantastic here um a little bit about the competitive landscape now financial services i'm sure you're aware very competitive um we operating in several different verticals um being uh, international payments or payments, banking, expenses, and travel money. Um, now, whilst individually all of these um, niches are uh, relatively competitive, um, I believe that we're operating in a relatively unique way and innovative way, um, which I'll share with you shortly. I've, I've, this this deck is is quite long, so I'm going to sort of canter through it. But I put a few slides in for for after the the webinar for you to review. Um, a few factoids and and few stats just to show you how the transition from B to C, from B to C to B to B is going, and you can see the 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 marked improvement in terms of transactional volumes and and such like. Um, I'd also like to just take the opportunity as well just to explain a little bit about our current product set. Um, so. Currently, we've got uh, a number of different products, um, and for kicking off with the international payment side, 
Um, this is effectively uh, for, for businesses and individuals that want to move money around the world. And we do that rapidly, securely, and, and at great exchange rates. Um, typically, you know, we come up against banks. I mean, there are other competitors, but still uh, to this day, high street banks are, have the majority of the international payments market in the UK. Uh, banks tend to be expensive and, and relatively limited service. Um, even as a you know, relatively large company, it's very difficult uh, to speak to someone at a, at a high street bank about your international payments. And they certainly don't offer um, the sort of product set that, that a company like ours can. Um, new players on the market, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, uh, online and digital only um, players, but, but they're just that, you know, they, they offer online or app only, very, very limited service, if any at all. Um, we offer the best of both worlds. If a customer wants to um, go online, we have a fantastic online platform. Uh, still, uh, many of our customers wish to deal with us over the telephone um, because they value the, the guidance that we offer and the, um, the, the economic advice and, and you know, we, we tell, we give them a view of currency exchange rates and, and where we see, uh, for example, sterling euro being in six months time. Um, we can offer quite a wide range of products um, to help them protect themselves against um, currency fluctuations, so spot and forward contracts. Um, and this is all backed up by an expert team of, of account managers. So, as I say, we like to we, we we're offering the best of both worlds to try um, and help our customers. Um, on the card side, um, we we have an amazing expense uh, management platform, um, and it's backed up with employee expense cards. So, if you're a, a, a company with with any number of employees, in fact, um, you you can use our platform to control expenses you give cards out to your to your employees and they go off and, and spend on those now the benefit of this platform is it's all prepaid so so it's not like a credit card platform where you can be landed at the end of the month with huge bills and it's a sort of post authorization rather than pre authorization um, and and companies love this because of the control of it and and one of the advantages as a product for us is that the, many companies just use this domestically. So actually we're fishing in a whole different pool in terms of customer base and any customer in the UK, any business in the UK is a potential customer for us. So it's a great door opener and allows us to introduce equals as a business, um, even if they don't have any currency exchange requirements, for example. Um, so that's, that's a real, real advantage. And on the banking side, I, I touched on um, Card One Money or uh, Spectrum Financial Services earlier, an uh, uh, acquisition we made in 2018. This really has given us the banking capability. And, and we offer SMEs uh, banking solutions. Uh, ultimately, they want an alternative to the to rigid offerings of high street banks. Um, so typically, I don't know if, if you've ever tried to open a, a, a business account with a high street bank, it takes months or weeks, if not months, it can be a nightmare um, and, and it's fraught with problems. We, we can onboard a customer, a, a business in a day, they can have an account number, etc. Um, so, so it's super quick, super easy. Uh, they get a dedicated account manager so they can call up, they can speak to someone at any time. And of course, all backed up with the direct integration of the Bank of England. So payments are instantaneous real time. Um, so, so it's got huge advantages even from the, from the banking side. Now onto the future, um, equals money. So you can see we've already got a fairly compelling proposition already um, with, with the current product set. Um, and I wanted to share with you the, the, the vision and the future for the group. Um, now, Equals Money uh, is combining all of our product set under one user experience, um, a single business solution that addresses all of our customers' uh, financial needs. Um, and this is really uh, in, in answer to genuine customer uh, issues and problems that they tell us they have, and, and this is what we've, we've developed. 
um, it's the, the the foundations of the product obviously have have, have come from our existing product set um, and we've used current products licenses and connectivity to underpin equals money um, what I think it's probably worth touching actually a little bit on the licenses and connectivity again because these are these are absolutely critical and and this gives us the USP and you know so it means that in terms of competitors and people following following behind it is very very hard to get to this stage it takes a long time and it's very very expensive so that gives us a a, a unique and a competitive advantage um the direct participation in faster payments means lower costs um, and faster domestic payments uh, our uk emi uh, together with direct membership of mastercard means that we can control that card cost ecosystem um, and it is can be very very expensive um, we we can issue now our own name ibans so in the real world this means if we if, if, when a customer comes to us and opens an account they get their own iban with with their own name on it so they're effectively paying similar to a bank account so they could get for example suppliers uh, to pay into that uh, iban and it's a multi currency so they could receive uh, any number of currencies within that um, on the liquidity side so uh, these this is where we're buying and selling currency um, we have four providers now uh, ultimately that just gives us better pricing and more choice so more choice of currencies for our customers at a better a better value um, we have global payments connectivity through three tier one banks uh, again for local payments it's it's critical so our customers can pay and receive locally um, and this is reducing cost and improving speed um, and, and a little bit on the internal expertise of the group, um, we've got a dedicated UK uh, customer support team. So any one of our customers can call um, if, with any issues or just simply for um, guidance um, on any number of matters. Uh, on the payments and currency, we have payments and currency experts. Um, we have a, a chief economist who, who uh, does who does a lot of outreach on the number in a number of ways I mean email social media the, the normal channels but we also do webinars uh, similar to this um, giving our view of the of the world economics and and general co currency movements and typically based around the theme so whether it's brexit covid or something like that um, and finally we've got a very skilled card delivery function which means that we can as as products evolve we can deliver new products very quickly to the market. And so why are we, do, why are we building all this? What, what are we doing this for? So um, predominantly scale and efficiency. Um, I mean, the four, cornerstone, four cornerstones of, for doing this, um, scale and efficiency. So we combine the manpower across the group within one product, within one platform. It's far more efficient. Previously, we because of acquisitions, we've had a number of platforms um, that that can be expensive to to maintain and update, and of course very difficult to to innovate on. Um, so this this really will help with that. Um, it's automating the pro all the processes, making things far more efficient and and far quicker for the customer and sort of for the customer onboarding. So when they open an account, they then have access to everything. They're not having to open an account for each specific um, business division. Um, it'll make us far more competitive, um, so costs, et cetera. Um, generally, the customer experience has got to be A grade, and that's what we've we've achieved here. It's a one-stop shop for business finance. Um, it improves our speed to serve of customers. It gives us more flexibility around pricing. So specific customers require specific things and it allows us to price around the customer's needs rather than specifically our own. Um, it also helps create, you know, better serve stickier customers. So we, this, this helps, you know, if a customer uses us for something, they don't have to go somewhere else for, 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 for another service. It means that we can maintain our customers far more efficiently and also innovation you know it helps us 
uh, as new things come along, we will be far quicker to innovate and far, far quicker to launch new products. So for, from a customer point of view, what, what do they actually get with this? Um, so they opening an equals money account, you get a multi-currency account with associated cards and payments functionality. Uh, you get uh, a, a very cool function uh, around budget. So as a company, you can set a budget um, and you can pay uh, money out of that, whether it's expenses, whether it's uh, an international payment, a domestic payment or whatever. And that can be, and you can set multiple budgets dependent on what you're doing. So for example, we have uh, a number of film production companies that use this um, and they, they have specific budgets for specific things and they love that. Um, virtual, physical um, and device cards. Uh, virtual cards are very useful for companies who are paying suppliers. They're one time only use, so they're, so they're more secure. Um, so it can't be, you, 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 as a company, you know it's not going to be recharged again. Um, the limits and controls within the system um, means that as a company, you can set up s certain restrictions for different people. Um, you might want the CFO to, to be able to do everything and see everything, um, whereas you might want an office clerk to, to, to only be able to view things and not actually instruct payments. Um, it's all customizable um, access and permissions uh, integrated with your accountancy uh, platform. So it means that you're not having to change the accountancy platform. You know, there are a number of them now, zero, um, QuickBooks, loads of them. Um, but, they, but it means that it can integrate and all the transactions and all the payments seamlessly go into your, into your um, uh, platform. Uh, we're providing unique multi-currency I-bands, uh, which I mentioned earlier. So the, the, the customer can receive and send from, from their IBAN. Um, and it's all backed up with the, with the customer support and expert service. Um, so, uh, and, and sort of looking on to the future here, um, there's more stuff we can be doing with this. So we're looking at credit at the moment. A lot of our customers, like, like many businesses, use credit day-to-day, uh, -day, invoice financing, short-term loans, et cetera. Um, we have a credit, we've got a credit broker license um, and we're looking at setting up a panel of um, lenders. So we're not lending ourselves, I'll be clear on that, um, but we're, we're looking at setting up a panel of lenders so we can introduce our clients to those lenders best suited for them. Um, and, and that will all be within the system as well. Um, we're using machine learning, not only for ourselves and, and sort of the decision-making process for us, but also to help the, our clients. Um, SMEs managing cash flow, for example, um, we can make smart recommendations based on the usage of the platform. Um, and also expanding our customer type. So, you know, not only geographically, but also domestically in different verticals, th this, this equals money product will allow us to expand our current portfolio of clients into all sorts of different areas. Um, so how are we going to sell this? Um, so our, our sort of market strategy, um, we've always had a very much consultative sell, selling approach. You know, we're listening to the customer, what they want, and, and that's the way we sell. Um, that, that will maintain we're solving a problem for the customer. Um, we're using data to help the sales process. Um, we've got a fantastic CRM, which I will touch on in a second, actually. Um, but, but absolutely fantastic CRM. That's helping us create the data and, and analyze the data for a better sales process. Um, ultimately, we are still selling product. Um, so whether it's an international payments banking or whatever, um, but it means that once we get that customer, they have full access to all of our products and it's a far easier cross sell. Um, so we can maximize our marketing dollar um, across all potential revenue streams and, and also clients. You know, we love, we love it when clients chat about our products and services and, and tell the world um, and we're a big advocate of that. Of that. Uh, we've got a number of marquee clients, uh, Netflix, Aston Martin, um, and, and we value them highly. Um, finally, on the, the CRM platform, um, 
we've spent a lot of time and effort on this over the last year or so uh, to get it to where it is today and it's it's hugely uh, data rich uh, it's it, it it is the back end of equals money so it's a single customer view uh, we can see all everything they're doing within this crm um, it allows us to uh, create campaigns etc tar target customers far more cleverly and and ultimately even existing customers you know we can we can speak to those customers more directly and have have a more engaging conversation so whether it's a, a customer doing you know sterling euro currency transfers we know exactly they're doing that and we can tell you know listen the the exchange rate today is great um so we can be very very targeted with our messaging to them um and finally just in conclusion i think um uh, and my personal view is i think you know the market hasn't reflected what we've been doing over the past two years and the amount of capability and the ecosystem we've built um uh, so I, I don't think the share price reflects that. I think particularly when you add in net cash of uh, nearly 9 million, 8.8 .8 million uh, at close of 2020, um, I, I think the shares still remain good value. Thank you very much. And any questions? What volatility do you envisage with, uh, with Brexit? Is it uh, Brexit going to become a negative or a positive for um, equals? I think at the, I mean, still to this day, people aren't 100% sure. Certainly, from our experience, we're seeing customers that are holding back. Certain industries, so for, for example, shipping, um, you know, container costs have gone ballistic, um, and therefore people are, are not necessarily committing to long-term contract. But ultimately, if you're if you're a business and you need to buy goods, you you buy them. Um, so, so longer term, I actually see Brexit as probably more positive for, for currency um, or for our type of business um, because people will want the surety um, and, the, and the guidance that we offer. Um, they won't necessarily just be happy just going through the bank and doing it at whatever price. Okay. Um, is there an average turnover of business that equals targets low to high uh so turnover i mean our, our sweet spot is probably around anywhere between 50 and 500 million our sweet spot now we can we we deal with with uh, companies much smaller you know you know one man bands turning over very little and we also as i touched on earlier you know we deal with the likes of netflix and aston martin um but our yes. real sweet where we where we where we think we create a lot of value for the customer is between five and fifty. I'm sorry, between fifty and five hundred. About fifty and five hundred, yeah. Um, what is your strategy on new B two B customer acquisition? Um, I sort of I've sort of touched on it within the slides, yeah. but ultimately it's it's equals money as our hero uh, platform, um, and it's. A, a blended mix of of marketing um and this is direct marketing um yeah what what we're not going to be doing is big scale um camp above what i've called above the line campaigns so spending huge marketing dollars on just brand awareness we're not doing that what we are doing is testing channels and the ones that work we pour more, more money into and the ones that don't we ditch and we're very brutal on that and very uh, proactive um in the past potentially we've you know been a little bit slow at doing this and but but now we're you know the, the marketing guys do a fantastic job and and every business that we acquire you know we we have strict metrics on on what what will what we'll pay for because we know the lifetime value um and and, and we do it that way Okay, I've got time for one more. Um, as we know, banks are under pressure uh, for many of their services. This, so, do you see substantial growth with your uh, Equals Group vision for the future? Uh, I do see uh, substantial growth potential. Um, ultimately, and this is not new news. This has been going on for a while. P people are a little bit tired of the way high street banks have treated uh, both both consumers and businesses um, with with pretty much disregard. Um, the service levels are almost zero. 
And I think people have woken up to the fact that, you know, they want more from it. They demand more from it. And as a financial services business, um, you know, as long as you have the trust of the customer um, and, the, and the business that, that you're serving, um, I don't see any reason why they need, would need to go to a high street bank. They, as I've mentioned, they, they tend to be expensive with, with almost no service. And people have said, oh, you know, they, they're going to catch up. They're going to do all this stuff. I've been in the industry 20 years and they still haven't. So I, I see huge potential here. Okay. I've got uh, time for one last quick one. Somebody said, did you mention dividend policy? Uh, I didn't mention a dividend policy. Um, but as, as, far, as, as far as dividends go, uh, we're, we're not and don't have an intention to pay, uh, certainly for the next couple of years. But that said, you know, when time allows, we certainly would do. Um, our primary focus at the moment is growth.